So in this video I'm going to show you how, without having a real design, how I'm going to build my shelving mainly out of free pallet timber uh, and also I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So if you like the video don't forget to give it the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel for future videos on how to sow and grow fruit and vegetables and a few recipe ideas then please press the subscribe button. These are some of the pallets that we get left occasionally and now we used to create the shelving that I'm about to build. So as you can see this is the pallet timber for the uh, shelving. Just getting ready for painting there. You can see some of the ones I've already painted just over there on top of the metal fence. So as you can see from what I've already got in here on the floor, uh, and this is only a few of the uh, plants that I've, uh, I've started to grow. I've got some in the potting shed at home. I desperately need shelves in here now. now I have been focusing over the last few weeks on outside getting potatoes and strawberries and all those types of things that need to go in. But with the weather today, it makes sense that I work inside because it's nice and dry. And this is what I'm planning to do. I'm planning to put a row of shelves all the way along this side of the polytunnel. It's a five metre length, so it's going to give me a good amount of shelves. I've got this timber which I've collected from old pallets which I've broken up and uh, treated the timber with a water-based preservative. That's going to form the main frame. But what I have had to buy is these laths here bought them yesterday from the DIY shop and they will form the surface of the shelving. So this is the only timber that I've actually bought for these shelves. They are 12 by 32 millimeter timber laths, 2.1 meters in length. They're plain. Uh, I think they're pretty expensive for what they are to be honest. They're 14 pounds and, and within that you get a bundle of eight of those 12 by 32 times 2.1. Uh, but because they're going to form these shelves, so I want, wanted to make sure that I was getting timber that looked consistent rather than have odd, some odd bits here and there. So I bought three lots of them and that's the only expense really that uh, I've had to pay for. You may easily find timber yourselves that uh, you can just get off cuts and uh, uh, you don't need to buy timber if you've got spare timber lying around but I did for this particular project. So the first thing I'm going to do is treat these timbers with a water-based timber preservative Obviously, because they're going to be shelves, they're going to be exposed to when I water my plants. So it just gives them a little bit of extra protection and hopefully will make them last a little bit longer. So what I've done, I've laid all the laths out flat onto just some old supports that I've, uh, that I've got lying around. Because obviously, if you're trying to paint these individually, it'll take you forever because they're quite small and fiddly. So lay them all out like that and then I've just, just started painting them. And then I'll do the one side, turn them over and then I'll leave them to dry while I carry on preparing the ground ready for the, uh, for the shelving. It's pretty important that you do this because you could leave the uh, timber as unpainted or unprotected, but what the water preservative does, it, it fills the pores of the timber, uh, making it more waterproof. So when you are watering your plants, which this will be the shelving for them, it just uh, hopefully will give it a bit more of a, uh, you know, a, a longer life. So this is the area where the shelving's going. Now I've cleared all the area and I decided when I, when I was going to put the shelving in I wanted to use as much space for growing as possible uh, in the uh, in the poly shed. So what I'm going to do is my plan is to build shelves that I can lift out. So the first job I'm going to do now is to dig before I start to construct the shelving all of this ground because at some point I anticipate it's going to be ground that I'll, uh, I'll plant upon. And then I'll start to construct. And as I said, the idea is that in certain times of year, I'll be able to lift out the shelving and then use the ground underneath for planting to make it as flexible as possible. So next job then is to give this a bit of a dig. So I've dug the corner just to show you progress so far. And uh, the ground's great, it's gonna be great for planting, but I am gonna have a problem though with uh, things like bindweed. Just from that little patch, you can see how much I dug out here. I knew this would be a problem in this area, it's very typically a problem all over this allotment so it wouldn't matter where I put the poly shed, but it's just something I need to keep uh, track of. So I'm going to dig the rest now along the edge, uh, get the rest of the weeds out and then I'll start doing the base for the shelves. It would have been a shame to waste this ground by putting permanent fixed shelves in place uh, because obviously the potential to grow under this cover uh, is greatest when you're using most of the land available. All the ground now dug 
um, when I finished I'll just give that a very light turnover now but it's not compacted anymore so before I started to put anything together before I even looked at a, a screw or a, a drill I laid everything out uh, on the floor how I want it to be so I've decided that I want the shelves to be 800 millimeters wide and these battens in the middle here these ones here that are running all the way along that is 800 I've cut that to 800 the ones in the middle you can see are just just going to be the shelves so they will form the base of the shell so they'll come out in a minute but I wanted to make sure that as I put things in that when I put the shelves back in that they would fit notice I've left a little gap in between the um, middle rail and where the shelves are going to go so that the shelves will will slot in without being too tight I'll show you how I construct the shelves a little bit later with the lass so what I've done at this very end one here you can see I've run it all the way along the full width of five meters of the whole length of where the shelving is going to go and what I'm going to do now is connect those together then I'm going to secure the middle 800 battens um, to them to give it a bit of stability and then start to form the uprights so first thing that I found that is uh, important is to lay everything out first and what I'll do now is I'll secure it all together and level it all off before I start looking at the uprights what I'm doing now is securing the edge rail on the underside so I've just got some old lasts and you notice that on the joints I've just screwed them in I'm just using these 40 millimeter screws here I'm pre-drilling first because otherwise the lath will split this will be the underside so when I've gone along the full length I've done that one over there I've got this one to do here and another one over here so what I'll do is once I've done all those I will turn it upside down so you won't see the laths and then I'll level it all off and make sure it all lines up before I attach it to those 800 millimeter wide cross rails so now you can see the uprights uh, and some of the cross rails are now in the cross rails are 800 again uh, as they correspond with the length of the ones that are cut on the uh, the bottom uh, and you'll notice that I've secured the legs on top of that um, frame that I put in with just some simple metal brackets uh, and some 38 millimeter screws 40 millimeter screws all the way along and then screwed it in to the ends here but there's going to be a cross rail going across there to make it even more secure and underneath these I've also put brackets along the cross rail and a number of screws will go in there as well all the while I've been doing this I've been using the width of the shelves which are the timbers you can see in the middle as templates so before I've actually screwed anything in I've just checked that the that these will fit because obviously I want to lift the shelves off and on and what I don't want to do is build the frame then build the shelves and then find out the shelves don't fit so gonna have a nice length of shelf here when I've uh, when I've finished so I'm going to carry on now doing the other uprights and rails and then I'm going to put the end piece in which will be the end horizontal um, batten which will go right at the very end here and that's where the shelves will be lifted from so what I've done now is I've added the end rail here which is screwed into the end battens here I'll give this a bit of a tidy up uh, when I've finished a bit more timber preservative and now all I'm going to do is make the shelves notice that there's two timbers in each of these bays and they're going to form the bases for the shelves so the idea is is that the timber will just rest in here it doesn't touch the other end it's just shy of the other end and I'll put the laths across and then that'll allow me to lift the shelves off and on as I need them and as you can see the reason I've done that is because I've dug the ground underneath so that at times when I don't need the storage space and maybe when there's more need for space for planting inside the poly shed I can also utilize the space under the shelving which is something that uh, I was very keen to do so just building the shelves now so because I want them to be detachable uh, what I've done I've got two of the uh, the battens as you can see laid them on the ground and those wooden blocks you can see next to the last of spacers they're 50 mil spacers and literally pre-drill the last because they're quite thin if you don't pre-drill 
potentially you could end up splitting them uh, and then just drilling the ends there so i'm going to put that all the way along to form the shelf and then just literally pick it up and put it in place and when i've finished i'll just dab a bit of uh, water based preservative onto the uh, cut ends and i'll show you how that looks when it's put in place here is the first shelf now in place all i've got to do is just put a bit of timber preservative on the uh, cut ends which i've done over here notice that they are built so that they overlap and just rest on the edges and there's two supporting timbers in between all they are is literally screwed on in the middle and then i've got to do that then for some more shells for the other bays so as you can see from what i said at the beginning i haven't really had a design for this but i've made it up as i've gone along but now what i've been left with is a really good usable amount of shelving where i can take the tops off and use the ground underneath when i need to for planting so I hope you found this video uh, useful and if you're building shelves and you've got any other ideas please pop them in the comments below because it's useful for others to see a variety of different techniques. Uh, and if you do like this video and you found it useful then don't forget to give it the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel for future videos on how to sow and grow fruit and veg and one or two recipe ideas then please press the subscribe button. And I'll see you all on the next video.